Let's learn to write the capital A. First, we will draw a left slanting line. Then we will draw a right slanting line. And at the end, join the two slanting lines with a sleeping line in the middle. A is for apple. Let's learn to write the capital B. First, we will draw a slanting line. Then come back to the top and draw a half circle to the middle. In the end, again draw a half circle to the bottom. is for ball. Let's learn to write the capital C. First, we will start drawing to the top and draw a half circle to the bottom. C is for cat. Let's learn to write the capital D. First, we will draw a standing line. And draw a half circle to the bottom. D is for dog. Let's learn writing the capital E. First, we will draw a standing line. And then go to the top and draw a sleeping line. Come back halfway and again draw a sleeping line. In the end, draw one more sleeping line. E is for egg. Learn to write the capital F. First, we will draw a standing line. And then, go to the top. And draw a sleeping line. Come back halfway, and again draw a sleeping line. is for fish. Let's learn to write the capital G. First, we will go to the top and draw a half curve to the middle. And draw a standing line and sleeping line to connect the bottom.
for gorilla. Let's learn to write the capital H. First, we will draw a standing line. And then go back halfway and draw a sleeping line. In the end, we will again draw a sleeping line. H is for hat. Let's learn writing the capital I. First, we will start to the top and draw a standing line top to bottom. I is for igloo. Let's learn to write the capital J. First, we will draw a standing line to the bottom with a small backward curve. J is for jelly. Let's learn to write the capital K. First, we will draw a standing line. And draw a slanting line upward. And again go to the middle and draw a right slanting line downward. K is for kite. Let's learn to write the capital L. First, we will draw a standing line. And then go to the bottom and draw a sleeping line. L is for lion. Learn to write the capital M. First, we will draw a standing line. Then go to the middle and draw a right slanting line downward. And again go to the middle and draw a slanting line upward. In the end, draw a standing line. M is for monkey. Let's learn to write the capital N. First, we will draw a standing line. Then draw a slanting line towards the right. In the end, again draw a standing line. N 
is for nest. Let's learn to write the capital O. First, we will start drawing to the top and draw a circle to the right. O is for owl. Let's learn to write the capital P. First, we will draw a standing line. And draw a half circle to the middle. P is for pig. Let's learn to write the capital Q. First, we will start drawing to the top and draw a circle to the right. At the end, draw a slanting line towards the right. Q is for quail. Let's learn to write the capital R. First, we will draw a standing line. Then come back to the top and draw a half circle to the middle. At the end, draw a slanting line towards the downside. R is for ring. Let's learn to write the capital S. First, we will start drawing to the top and swing to the left and create a curve. Now again swing to the right and create another curve to the bottom. S is for sun. Learn to write the capital T. First, we will draw a sleeping line. And then come back halfway and draw a standing line. is for train. Let's learn to write the capital U. First, go down, then turn around, and let's go up again. for umbrella. Let's learn to write the capital V. First, we will draw a right slanting line downward. 
Then we will draw a right slanting line downward. V is for van. Let's learn to write the capital W. First, we will draw a right slanting line downward. Then we will draw a right slanting line upward. Now a right slanting line downward. Then we will draw a right slanting line upward. W is for watch. Let's learn to write the capital X. First, we will draw a right slanting line downward. Then draw a left slanting line downward. is for xylophone. Let's learn to write the capital Y. First, we will draw a right slanting line downward. Then again, we will go to the top and draw a left slanting line downward. Now, draw a standing line. Y is for yak. Let's learn to write the capital Z. First, we will draw a sleeping line. Then, draw a left slanting line. In the end, we will again draw a sleeping line. Z is for zebra. Subscribe my channel for more great videos.